Hi, I'm Laser Larry Kleinkemper with Landmar Services. I'm an architect who's been computer modeling buildings since the days of DOS, about 1994. Um, what Landmar Services does is we go out and we 3D scan buildings, turn them into computer models for architects, engineers, and contractors. It creates huge data sets uh, that we're talking hundreds of gigs to terabytes. And so we need operating systems, we need systems, computer systems that can run as fast as possible. So I'm here today to test the Box Apex S3 against Dell Precision 7920. Let's see how they do. Okay, the first thing I'd like to point out is the size between these two machines. Uh, the new S3, it's sort of a, it's your full-size desktop, um, but it is smaller and sleeker than the Dell Precision, which is just smaller than our mini fridge. <gasps> Hold on one second, I gotta get the right angle on it. It's a little bit more substantial in size. <laughs> okay, for this first test, I brought in my own files. So, uh, I wanted to see how this thing reacted with the giant uh, Revit models that we work with at Landmark Services. So, uh, I have a project from Dallas. Um, I have hit detached uh, from Central. I've copied it to both computers. And we're just going to hit go. Ready? Oh, uh, right. Uh, detach, discard. Okay. I roughly started the, the box one about a second and a half later. So, you know, or a second later. So we'll just see. Right. They have to upgrade. Okay. So these are older files. Um, they were done in Revit 2016, and now they're upgrading to Revit 2018. This is something we all have to deal with. Let's see. Uh, Box is already at 22%. Oh, look at it fly. And the Dell is sitting at 18. It, it just jumped up to 20. Um, okay. 41% over here, 25% on the Dell. Oh, if you see any things like that, boom, we're up and running. We're up and running. Here we go. All right. Hit OK. Ignore. And we'll bring up. And just apples to apples. And give it a quick rotate. All right. Now this one is ready to work. For our next test, we're going to do 
a simple 3D move with the entire model uh, and section box through it. Common thing that happens every day. So as, as close as I can, I'm going to try to hit the exact same buttons at the same time. We've got our 3D model pulled up here. Okay, just section box. And I turned them both on. Uh, there's the one from Box, and now there's the one from Dell. It just took a little bit longer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to pull the section box down in both of them. And uh, all right, I've hovered over both the controls and I'm pulling them down I'm just about halfway through the building. And oh, the, the box worked. Hold on one second, let me get the. Did I miss grab it? No. No, it just doesn't seem to want to. It's just not wanting. Oh, is it going to do it this time? It looks like it moved a little bit. Maybe if I turn to where it's easier to grab. I definitely moved it down a little bit, but it didn't seem to want to be as responsive on the Dell. I want to get it to the same spot. It just does not want to do the section box with this huge model. Um, it's barely responding at all. And both of these cards, you know, have the exact same NVIDIA uh, 8 gig Quadro, uh, I think it's the P4000 um, card. I don't know why this isn't responding. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to just try something. I'm going to turn half the model elements off. Like, uh, I'll turn off all the walls and just see if I, if it responds normally when I reduce the amount of modeling, maybe the walls and the windows. See if it responds better when, when a bunch of the geometry is turned off. Oh, there it goes. So that's really interesting to me, and, and to figure out that, n notice it's really struggling to make the section box go. Um, and again, I will, you know, I'll be the first to admit this is a gigantic model. Um, let's see what sort of responsiveness we have over here. Uh, it works like it's supposed to. It takes a second to update, but it's calculating, you know, sections through the the model, you know, in all directions. Let's let's try uh, maybe going in this direction. Cut a nice section. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, let's go back to over here, and I need to adjust my keyboard a little bit so I can get to it. Get to my control button. Um, if I were to, oh, I just want to orbit. Hold on one second. Okay, that was on me. That was I was pressing the wrong button. Hold on. Just because it's a keyboard I'm not used to. And we'll just do the same sort of thing. I'm trying to drag it in, and it's just not wanting to do it. Oh! And this is a common thing when it's slow response. Uh, it Okay, it did it. But then it flubbed and, and uh, uh, accidentally thought that I was grabbing on to something else. Okay, for this last test, um, what we're doing for this project, the, this giant model, save. You got to save multiple times a day, every day. And so, you know, how fast these two computers can save, you know, a 500 meg file. Uh, to, to get it to the hard drive, that's a question of mine. So they both, I hit save at the exact same time. It looks like Box is at 20% and Dell is at four. Box is at 35, Dell is at four. Box is at 50%, Dell is at five. Box is at 65%, Dell is at six. Box is at 83, 88, 90, 95. Dell is at 15. And we're done on box. Uh, the Dell.
precision is at 30%. So uh, again, you know, just those commands, shaving off a minute or so, uh, and then fractions of seconds, um, it gets you more and more to a real-time response for all your normal size projects. Now granted, I know this is a big one, but it helps show the difference between the two. The next project that we're going to test on is a little college football stadium. Um, it's in the middle of production. It doesn't have all of its details, um, but it's still a pretty beefy file. It's, uh, let's check its size, 144 meg. So a little closer to a normal file size for a lot of firms, um, a little bigger than some others. Uh, I'm going to hit open. I've already hit detach from central. I'm going to hit open the exact same time. Three, two, uh, three, two, one, go. Uh, <laughs> every time it gets me. Okay, we're going to discard the work sets for this, the purpose of this test. And, oh, again, upgrading uh, files from 16 to 18. So... Boom, we ignore, and yes, of course. Turn off the section box, and zoom extents, and there you go. I'm up and working over on the box. I'm still waiting for my warning on the uh, Dell. Dell Precision, 7920. And both these machines have 64 gigs of RAM. They both have uh, an 8 gig video card um, from NVIDIA, uh, the P4000. All right, I got my warning. I went to a 3D view, turned off my section box and zoomed extents and now I'm up and running in the same spot. We're just going to turn on the exterior point clouds which I've already pre-set up. Uh, what's okay little weirdness happening over on the Dell as far as responsiveness. Um, hitting okay. Okay they both came in looks like the Dell's still updating a little bit but they both came in pretty fast um, so next let's test with section boxes. So section box and section box over there. Turn them both on. Uh, the box was turned on last but came in first. Um, and then I'm just going to pull section box down, hover over both their control keys to where it's highlighted, and then I'm going to grab them and pull them down and all right something strange is happening here uh, there there may have been a user error let us let's just try that again so there's the control key I'm making sure that it's highlighted so that when I click on it it does it and pulling down I got perfect responsiveness from the box. Uh, the Dell, I've noticed this on projects. I'm, I'm getting this problem, and let's, let's just zoom in on the, on the Dell for a second, make sure I'm not doing anything wrong. You can see that I've clearly clicked on it, and I pull down, and it is not responding like it's supposed to. So, <laughs> and once again, it has, 
gone from playing with or what I was holding in the section box the entire time, and it it's apparently doing a stuttering thing where it ends up picking an object. So just to now what I found is you know you may have to go to a side view to where you're clearly not over the point cloud or anything else. And it's still not wanting to drag that section box. So this is a clear problem for us as far as productivity. You know, we need this sort of responsiveness that we're getting from the box. Uh, and again, exact same video cards, two different systems. The processor seems to have a big impact on more things than, than we initially realized. I'm going to try this one more time. I, I just, I'll, I'll try a different key of the section box and, and section upward. Yeah, it's just not, it's not responding the way it should. So I'm very curious to figure out, you know, what could possibly cause that. Um, I expected the box to per, uh, perhaps uh, react a little bit quicker but I wasn't expecting um, the Dell to fail on, on, you know, section box commands altogether on these sort of files. Now, to be fair, these are huge files in order to sort of uh, demonstrate the difference between, you know, uh, working modes. But um, to get such better performance out of one and like simple operations are not working out of the other um, is a big key as to which direction we landmark should go. After all the tests and working with the files, again, our files that we brought in, we've concluded box wins. So um, what we found and I have to say, it did surprise me. Uh, the places where box one was, it would load the fa files faster. It would do any sort of uh, updating of the files faster. It had better response on section boxes and 3D views, um, which is pretty much our whole modeling process in world. So we'd have to go with the box.